video is about wait 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 what are we waiting for body weight not time weight like I'm waiting for a person I think they got that if you said it was about wait they wouldn't think you're talking about like they might think I'm going, wait! Wait, don't click off the video because we're about to do a video on wait! Hey! I got a letter from the doctor the other day and we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Amelia got a letter from the doctor, as you can tell because I said that like two <laughs> seconds ago. Thought it was going to be from the nutritionist because basically she has IBS and all that. Mm. Except it wasn't from that. It was about a study. It said, dear Miss Amelia Mandeville, we are inviting you for a study examining the core and rare genetic variants associated with thinness. And then like I looked more into the letter and basically they were asking me if I want to take part in like this trial study thing. I think I give them like my saliva, I'm not really sure. And they want to investigate why I'm skinny. Now what I love about this is that Amelia's gone to the doctors a lot. Um, but nothing about her weight. She's never even mentioned her weight. So the doctors obviously sat there whilst taking notes and being like, very skinny, possible for the trial. Because um, it said at the end that uh, I was recommended to this Cambridge study and um, I was recommended by my doctor. And I, I, I mean, I actually really like my doctor, um, but I was just really surprised by that. And honestly, my first initial reaction was, does my doctor think I'm too skinny? Like, is that what's going on? And I was hurt. I was really offended and quite upset by it. But, and I looked into the letter a little bit more and then I understood more about what it was. It was they're taking, doing a trial and they're working out if it's to do with genes because there's this thing, you know, that some people put weight on really easily, whereas others just can't put on weight. And, you know, it's almost impossible for them to put on weight and I am one of those. Um, and this kind of brought up a whole conversation that me and Amelia started having about this stigma around weight. Basically, we decided let's bring up this conversation on a video. Yeah, let's, guys. let's start a discussion. Basically, we live in a world where you get judged for your weight or you judge others for their weight. Yeah. There's fat shaming, there's skinny shaming. And you know what? Skinny and fat aren't actually supposed to be negative words, but because they are used so negatively, like, oh my god, she's so skinny, or oh my god, she's so fat, it offends people. But literally, they're supposed to be adjectives, like, she has brown hair, she has also brown hair. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if someone says to me, you're looking skinny, I do not take it as a compliment. No. And that's because whenever in the past someone's called me skinny, they meant it in a mean way. Yeah. Advertising isn't right. They usually use one certain body type and that's just not realistic because it doesn't sum up everyone. But also, is this whole real body, real women things. <laughs> and it's like, you see real women, like an advertisement for real women. And it's like, okay, I would like to think I'm a real woman, but I don't, I don't relate to that. Surely, real means different because we're all different and we're all diverse and that's what's beautiful. Well, real women are the people that you cross on the street or when you're going shopping and you see people in the side of you. One might be like 80 years old and the other one might be a mum with like three kids. Hmm. Or it might just be a woman that's like on her way to work. That is a real woman. Yeah. Not these models that make you feel like you have to have the ab or you have to have the big bum. If you have that, amazing. Oh, sometimes I wish I had, like people are going to hate me for this. Sometimes I wish I was a lot curvier because I see them a lot in advertisements and they're a lot, uh, they're portrayed as real women and really embraced and I'm like, but I'm not that and I wish I was that but I can't change that. And the truth is that we can't really change it unless we start, us as individual real women, start treating other women like they're real too yeah. rather than looking at them and judging them on their way yeah. or judging them on the way they look. Like, that's a real woman, that's a real woman, we're all women in it together yes. and we need to change the attitude here. Yeah, I just like to say, I don't know why we turned it onto the woman thing, it literally relates to all guys, oh, uh, it like, relates to all weight, like I think there's this big thing, there's not enough um, plus size male mo models, I don't no, think. We, you we see that we had that, we, you were the first person to bring that up yeah. in the conversation and there was a guy that's now become a yeah. plus size, but yeah. So this relates to all, but I guess because we're women we're taking it more like on the women's side. I think in conclusion, you know, your weight doesn't matter. It like, your weight doesn't define you. And don't define others by their weight either. Yeah. An example is, 
I struggle to put on weight and I might eat, let's say, like five cheeseburgers and someone else might eat five cheeseburgers, they might put on weight really easily from that and I might not. And, you know, someone can watch that and judge the person who puts on weight or judge me and it's like so wrong because it doesn't define who you are, it doesn't sum up the person you are and, you know, someone might be their weight because it's their genes, as my doctor thinks it is. Someone might be their weight for medical reasons or literally because it's who they are and that's pretty darn awesome. And different is good. Yeah. Keep a conversation going down below guys, like our main message of this is there's just this whole stigma about weight and it's really grinding my gears because I'm fed up of seeing people be self-conscious, Yeah, I used to feel self-conscious, it's just not something that should be going on. At the end of the day we live in a world where sometimes we just need someone to say to us, look, you are a real person, don't feel guilty or don't feel awful because of the, your weight or how someone's made you feel, you're a real woman. And, and you should be proud of being that. And you should embrace it. And we'll end this by just showing you weird things about our body because we're real women. And we're gonna do a boogie. Look, look at this. Also, Here, people always comment on this. Can I say there's French fries on my top? Look, you can see my collarbone. Oh well. You what, mate? My little bony wrist. You what? My half an arm. Oh, bless, bless of thou grace. <laughs>